know what? It made me want to be bold. It really made me want to be bold because I'm like, wait a second. The enemy is literally stepping his toes out. He's he's showing his scales. He's showing his 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 whole uh, silhouette. He's showing him his whole self out here. And Christians can be bold. We got to be bold. There's no way. That's why I had to make this video because I'm like, there's no way. There's no way these people are stepping out, talking about 666, talking about uh, Satan, worship, uh, you know, uh, worshiping Satan, all this stuff. No, we need to be worshiping God. And so I had to make this video. I had to. I had to. For our brothers and sisters that, you know, are not on YouTube, are not making videos. And Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to share a few things and um, I just want to be used by the Holy Spirit and... Um, you know, I want things to be organic. So, um, not to say that I will never write anything down that the Lord tells me, or I won't write, or I won't write a scripture down. But um, I just told the Lord, I just want to do things organically. I want it to be fresh from the Lord, um, a prophetic word, word of knowledge. Uh, revelation whatever it is I wanted it to be fresh organic and in real and so if you're interested make sure to stay tuned so it's our time to stand up um, we see that um, in the secular music that um, there are Satan worshipers. There are uh, people that are blaspheming uh, the word of God, are, blas are blaspheming God. Um, for example, Little Nas, Little Nas I believe, um, he has uh, made a video... I'm pretty sure you guys are aware of it. He has made a video where he is basically taunting Christians. Basically, um, he's mad. Basically, he's mad. And he made a video taunting God, taunting Christians and everything that we believe in. He's basically grinding and uh, giving the enemy a lap dance, you know? And so we clearly see who his allies are and and who he is working with. Um, we clearly see that, that he's working for the enemy. And um, yes, we need to pray for him, but also we need to call him out. And I think our brothers and sisters have been calling him out. And um, I recently just heard that the possibility that his song could be taken off of platforms, which praise God, because um, I didn't even listen to it, but I skimmed through the video because I wasn't really interested, but I wanted to see what people were talking about, you know? And so um, I skimmed through it, didn't listen to the music. Um, and it's true, he was sliding down. It, it was like he was in heaven and then, um, you know, he slid down um, on a stripper pole to uh, hell. Um, so I think he was maybe making it as a joke or to mock Christians. But at the same time, you know, he's the one that is being mocked. He's the one that is being played around with and messed around with. And it's, it's truly sad. But at the end of the day, we all make our decision. And God is the one that allows us to make that decision he gave us free will to make the decision whether we want to serve him or not and ultimately guess what because we have that free will we are the ones that decide whether we go to heaven or not it's not god now god has the last say so don't get me wrong god has the last say so but at the same time like if you made up your mind and god has tried and tried what is he going to do? He's going to honor his word, right? He's going to honor his word because he cannot lie. He's going to honor his word 
and he's going to give you what you want. And if that's hell, then hell you will get. And so it's, it's sad to me seeing this young man, um, you know, make this video and, and do all this because, um, true, true worshipers of God, people that really know what's up is going to know that he's working for the enemy and the enemy in return is just using him. And when he's done with him, he's going to lay him out for raw meat, dead meat. He, he's going to be, uh, disposable, disposable. He's disposable period. Cause the enemy don't care about none of us, you know? And that's the sad part. Like the enemy don't care about him. Don't care about none of us. He's trying to tear everybody down and see, this is how the enemy does it for Christians. The enemy attacks us, right? He, you know, attacks us and whatever his little schemes and all that stuff. But we, we are knowledgeable. And, and when you get your mind equipped, you know, Oh, Man, this is just the enemy, man. You know, resist him. He'll flee from you. You know, we got the, we got, we got the, um, I don't want to say cheat sheet, but we know we're informed. And it's like the way that he, he, uh, you know, tricks people of the world is that he, he uses deception, you know, he uses deception and he uses uh, the things of this world to, to distract him, like distract him to the point where they don't even think about God, you know, they don't even think about God. They're so deep in their sin. They're so deep in within themselves. All they can think about is themselves. All they can think about is all their worldly possessions. They don't even think for one second to thank God every day. They don't even do that. And that's how God, and that's how the enemy gets them you know, to bow down without them even knowing it. It's the lack of knowledge for them. And for us is we know his, her, his schemes, but you know, it's a battle because we're not working for him no more. So it's going to be a constant battle for us, but that's okay because we got God by our side and God is supporting us. But over here, who do they got? You know, who do they got? You know? So that's that's really the difference for them but honestly you know when i saw the video and i saw that other brothers and sisters were making videos and stuff like that i wanted to make a video sooner i wanted to make a video sooner but i was like man i don't want to get into that uh you know that you know oh uh, reporting trendy no trendy news reporting trendy news type of um vibe but you know all that I had to represent, you know, we are bold. We are bold no matter what. We don't have to be on camera to show that we're bold. But at the end of the day, if they're going to be on camera and they're going to have this, this, uh, you know, stunt that they just pulled, you know, with the Satan shoes and the, the video and all of this mess, we got to be bold. See, this is a thing. This is a thing. Like. God is so good. God will use something like this to put put a uh, fire in me, put fire in my brothers and sisters to to start making videos for the glory of God and telling the people this is wrong. You know, this is what's wrong with the world. Is this this type of stuff, you know? And supposedly he's supposed to be an influencer of teenagers, young children. I don't know who who, uh, you know, parent is letting them listen to this stuff, but you know, they, they need a reality check as well. But you know, all of this is coming out of love. It might, it might seem, you know, very passionate and everything like that. But at the end of the day, it's love. And that's what God wants us to portray in this world is love for him and then love for our, our neighbors. You know what I mean? And so if love is tough, then love is tough. If we got to tell you straight up, like, this is wrong, you know? This is the type of stuff that will cloud your mind and not get you on the right path when it comes down to God. You know, it won't at all. I don't care if it was a publicity stunt, if it was a, um, you know, a pr promotional thing. I don't care. You don't play around. 
Because at the end of the day, the enemy ain't playing around and God ain't playing around. You know, and we already know who wins. We already know who wins. So he's showing out right now. But at the end of the day, God gets all the glory. Amen. God gets all the glory. So, um, you know, brothers and sisters, we can't stand. We can't stand here and watch this happen and not say nothing. So I have to make this video. Um, I just had to. And just give God all the glory. God needs the, the light. God needs the, uh, you know, the shine. God needs the popularity right now. God, you know, we need to be uh, promoting godly things. You know, not promoting this type of uh, junk. This is junk. This is total junk. It's a waste of time. You know, and it's but a vapor. This, this whatever this is going on is going to, is going to, no one's going to care about it no more. But God, no, God is forever. God is forever. And he'll never disappear. He'll never be disappear. He'll always be there. So uh, I just wanted to, you know, encourage you guys to stand up. If you don't make videos, fine. That's fine, you know. But even if it's, you know, cutting off the secular music or if it's, um, you know, not promoting something, you know. Or, or putting something on your Facebook or something, you know, stand up, stand up, you know, for what you represent. Don't be shy. Uh, it's time to be bold and courageous. It's not time to be shy, timid, because God did not give you that spirit. He did, not give, he did not give you the spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind, right? So let's go. Let's stand up. Let's be powerful. Let's be loving, right? So um yeah that's pretty much all i have to say today um i also want to let you guys know if you made it to the end of this video i wanted to let you guys know that i'm going to be starting a christian apparel business now i'm not just saying it's all it's only going to be like shirts and clothing but i'm going to expand it and it's gonna it's gonna have a twist to it because i want to use words for freedom I, I want someone to, to see the shirt that you're wearing and be like, wow, you know, that really touched me. So I, I want to uh, just bless you with that uh, little thing that's coming up that I'm going to be uh, starting my own clothing, clothing apparel um, and other stuff to come in the future. So uh, I already made a YouTube channel for, for my uh, business. So it is Jesus Fits Me Apparel um, on YouTube. So if you are interested, go ahead and subscribe and I'll be posting videos on my, uh, my business and then also um, just other videos on that, um, on that channel as well. But uh, I just want to say God bless you and stand up. Let's go. Come on. Glory to God. Amen. Bye, guys.